Hey guys, what's going on? Matt from Mythic Gaming with another title update 12 seed for you. And I'm sure you can already tell there is a large jungle on this seed. But that is not the most interesting part. And let me give you the map really quick so you can see. Map out. I want to say half this map is a jungle. It's a really large jungle. It's very dense. And as right where I'm standing, you might, you might as well take the coordinates while we're here. Right where I'm standing is a nice little bit of a surprise inside of uh, our stronghold. So go ahead and get those coordinates and I will get down there and show you exactly what I'm talking about. I just have to find where I put the hole because it is very dense tree cover. There we go. All right. Come all the way down here. Keep going, keep going, keep going right here. This stronghold chest is pretty special because when we open this stronghold chest, we can see that there is a golden apple and apparently he's brought three of his regular apple friends, but that doesn't matter. What matters is the golden apple. So it is another golden apple stronghold. And I know not many people are, or not as many people are interested in golden apples anymore because uh, you can make them now. But to find them is still pretty exciting, especially in a stronghold. Because, I mean, in a stronghold, you only get up to four, four of these chests and hallways. And half the time, the, the pillar is empty. It has no chest on it. So to find it is uh, pretty neat. So I wanted to share that with you before I showed you the rest of the seed. Because the rest of the seed is actually really nice. So I'm going to take you on a quick little tour here. And we're going to start off by going to the... Um, the side of this jungle the right side of the jungle here because not far from the stronghold that does bust out into the plains and in the plains there is a nice little village right here so i mean you could kind of have your base be there if you're going stronghold exploring and uh no blacksmith you know it's kind of small but it is nice that it's here it's not horribly far from the stronghold either but before i move any farther there was something back in the jungle i thought was pretty neat and it's right by the stronghold that I wanted to show you and I completely forgot about. So let me get back over there real quick. Let's see, it should be right over here somewhere. There it is. Now, I know they don't exist on the Xbox yet, but in my opinion, this looks like a jungle temple to me. I know it's much larger than they would be, but just the way this is built right here, it just it just screams out for an awesome jungle base. You just cut right into there and you were all set. This awesome stone building you could have right in the deep dark of the jungle. Go right on the roof here and all you see is jungle. You see a stronghold is right there too. It's not far at all. But all you see is jungle. This would be a great place for a jungle base. So I just wanted to put that out there for anybody that was thinking of doing something like that. I think this would be the map to make a jungle base on. So... With that said, we will continue, and I'll, I'll just kind of fly through the jungle up to that other plane section, just to show you just how immense this jungle is, how dense it is. It's pretty special. I mean, I don't get a lot of maps that have at least 50% jungle, so... And especially the way this is set up, it's right in the middle, too, which is kind of nice. It just has a plains area on each side of it. I really enjoy this map, and the amazing thing about this map is you can see that there's desert in the bottom left, so this one does have every biome, and it even follows the realistic biome setting. So this map really has it all. And besides that, I, I think it's just a good-looking map in general. I mean, some maps are really sloppy, but this one kind of got its act together. And right here, as you've noticed, I'm sure by now, I've come right into a village. And this one is a, a bit more sizable than the other one. It's kind of a nice little village, kind of right there. And right over there, I'm, just, I'm sure you've noticed by now, is... One of those, uh, what do you call, almost double villages. I think that's what I've been calling them recently. But yeah, again, it's two villages that are really close to each other and could almost be double villages if you, I don't know, nudged them a bit closer. I mean, this might even be considered double village by most because I'm standing on the house here and I have a completely clear shot of that village. The only thing about the villages on these maps is that none of them have a blacksmith, so none of the three have a blacksmith, but... Not really a big issue. I, I don't see it to be a horribly crippling thing. I do think it's a really nice map otherwise. And I hope you guys agree. So with that, that sh that's mainly the highlights of this map. Because as I've said before, I don't like going to the underground and showing too much of it. Unless it's something really interesting. Like I've been saying, I used to show double dungeons. But I'm trying to keep those uh, off too. Just because I think when you discover something like that, it's so amazing. So I like to leave that for people to find on their own. 
So with all of that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoy the seed. I hope you have a lot of fun with it. And go ahead and keep coming back and looking for more because I will keep making these things as long as you guys keep liking them and watching them. I will talk to you next time.